Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have another breakdown of Maximum Football 2018. We're going to get into some of the gameplay here. Well, first I would like to say that I do like this play or uh, team selection screen. It is very easy to maneuver around. You got your settings, you just click square and you can adjust those to your liking. This game is going to be on college settings, 5 minutes, 30 second uh, play clock. Because 20 seconds you don't have enough time to really snap the ball and you will get delay of game penalties quite frequently and I stated in the last video that the delay of game penalties need to be fixed right now they are 10 yard penalties and needs to be switched to 5 there are also instances where when you sack the quarterback you get called for a roughing the passer penalty which that obviously has to be fixed as well and I do like the opening sequence here the pan around the um, the stadium showing you all the fans and pretty much the entire stadium I like the graphics on the screen those are nice it says today's announcer is Jordan Mercier I didn't quite catch that name but you don't really hear the announcer a whole lot at all so having a commentator in this game would definitely help improve it and give it a better atmosphere now here we've got the second play of the game I am on offense now as you can see the play clock is running out very fast you guys saw me at the beginning of this video switch the play clock to 30 seconds and it did not actually transition it into the game but here's a nice touchdown pass huge touchdown pass and the crowd goes crazy I like that crowd reaction I do wish there was uh, more crowd reaction throughout the game maybe some constant uh, noise from the crowd because it gets very quiet for quite a bit of the game and maybe add some some music into the game as well just between plays and another quick play here you can see the clock running out it takes forever sometimes for the team to line up and there's the delay of game penalty for a loss of 10 yards so obviously that'll need to be fixed in a patch but the kicking sometimes some of your players will get stuck behind the holder and they won't get to the line of scrimmage so you'll get a couple delay of game penalties in a row as I almost missed that extra point point. and here I am on defense and what they really need for defense here is the play art you have to be able to see your play that has been in uh, Madden and college football games since at least 2003 that needs to be implemented if not the entire play art at least have um, single assignment art on the field so you can see what player what the player is that you are controlling is actually supposed to be doing that would improve the defensive side of the ball a lot and make that a little more enjoyable and another improvement for defense would the would be the ability to actually switch on to a player when the ball is in the air and that was actually a very nice tackle animation right there we're gonna go and take a look at it again it was a nice diving tackle to save the touchdown here on a huge pass play from Ottawa. And on the replays, we got to have the ability to have the cursor on the football itself. We're going to watch this safety make a touchdown saving tackle here. It was actually a really good reaction time. It was a split second before the quarterback actually threw it. So he knew where the ball was going, so that was a very good reaction and a nice dive animation for the tackle to save the touchdown. Just a full extension of the body. I've seen a couple of good animations in this game so far, actually. This is just one of the better tackle animations. And another part of presentation that I enjoy is the scoring drive. I love the graphic here and I love that they have every play. It's like watching GameCast on ESPN or something. I really enjoy that as well. On this play we're gonna see a great kick return and the crowd react to it. And it's actually a really nice reaction. The crowd just starts going crazy as soon as he breaks to the outside here and gets into the open field and outraces the defense for the touchdown. I've noticed with scoring plays you cannot go to replay there's only the pause option right there over by the Canuck logo 
So it definitely needs to be a replay for scoring plays. Here we're going to see another nice animation from the quarterback on a scramble. And it's actually a stumble recovery animation. Now, I believe this is the second iteration in this franchise for this game. So to have the stumble animation already present on the second try is actually impressive. It's not the cleanest animation you'll ever see, but you can see his hand plants on the ground. He picks himself back up, and he gets some extra yardage here and a nice scramble by the quarterback. And we're actually going to see this same exact animation from a different player on this play right here as we see a backwards pass dropped for a fumble. The offensive lineman picks it up, stumbles, and he gets crushed by the defender, and it actually destroys that animation as he's trying it. Now in other football games, for stumble animations, if you hit that button in time, more often than not, they will probably just run through whoever is trying to tackle them, and they will complete that animation. Now that is not the case here, as the offensive lineman gets pummeled by the cornerback. So two stumble animations, two plays in a row, and two different outcomes for those players. And here's a quick look at the sideline, and I would like to say that there's more life on this sideline than there ever has been in a Madden football game. So kudos to Canuck play here. I know they're not doing a whole lot, but they actually look like the players on the field as well. And for presentation and play calling here, um, I like the screen. I just wish that you would be able to press X on the formation and then be able to scroll through your plays um, in a single order because I often find myself hitting X on accident and I don't even know what play I'm picking. And another thing I would like to be able to talk about here is the timeouts. You can see Ottawa just called a timeout there. But as you can see on this screen, on the play calling screen and while you're on the field, there is no option to call a timeout there. There might be, but I just can't find it. So there needs to be a button in place for you to be able to just hit it and call that timeout quickly instead of having to go back to the menu and call a timeout like that. And on this play we're going to see a nice scoop and run from a forced fumble and there is a huge hit on the receiver. Nice hit by 57 drawing the ball loose and his teammate, his defensive end, actually scoops the ball up, tries to follow his blockers and has a nice return back to midfield. And on the defensive play, uh, Crusher quarterback key, as we see a phantom tackle here by the defense. I think this play can be considered a money play. If you just blitz with this middle linebacker right up the middle every time, about 8 out of 10 times, you are going to get to the quarterback or the running back with the ball. The only time you're not going to get to the quarterback is when the halfback stays in to block and he just barely gets over there and that is actually a nice reaction from the halfback to get over there and stop the blitzing linebacker right up the middle and save his quarterback from a big hit. There's a bit of a slide right there but not enough for me to really have a concern about it but a great block by the halfback. And the last play I want to talk about today is the extra points. I'm not sure why you're not lined up in the middle of the field for the extra point. And again, this is on college rules. And they just kind of seem to line up wherever they want on the extra points. And this will actually be the final play that I will talk about today. Is a nice kick return again here from number 88. And he's going to take this one outside. And I apologize for the drop frames. But I would like to see maybe some taunting as you're going in, maybe some showboating. You could use the right analog stick for that just to celebrate a little bit before you get into the end zone. I think that would be pretty cool. Add a little bit to the game just to make it a little more fun for the players. And here we have the halftime graphics. I do like these. They're simple, right to the point. It shows you what stats you have, how many first downs, passing, yards, completions, attempts rushes, yards, how many total yards, and your time of possession. The only thing that I would add to this is maybe have the top players of the half, just to let you know who is producing the most for your team. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. Give me some feedback in the comments section below. What are your, what are your thoughts on this game? 
and how do you think you can improve it as well because we're not here to try to you know kill this game you know we don't want to just put it down and then not give any positive feedback at all you got to take away what you like about the game and then you have to talk about what you'd want to improve and how you would want to improve it so we can make this game better together as a football gaming community because that's what it's all about guys we can't just be stuck with the same game for the rest of our lives nobody wants that but that is going to do it for me today guys i will see you again with maximum football 2018 within the next week or so with another video but until then take it easy guys